My friends, this is Game of Favorites, featuring tales from the catacombs or of? From. 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 From the catacombs. My plus one for the evening is clearly the person here with me. I brought Yuha. Tell us more about your lore. <laughs> no. Oh, you're muted. You're muted. Yes, you're Quickly. Muted. Quickly, I'm mute. Mute it, mute it, mute it. <laughs> no microphone, but she does have a dog. <laughs> Is somebody struggling to get their answers in? It might be in? Josh. Ooh. It might be Josh. Yeah, he got disconnected. And that's about all I got to say because I'm a fast talker. But, but do, it, do a little dance. Yeah, so. Do a little dance. <laughs> I've seen this movie before. <laughs> the one where I start ahead and then in the last round, it's like... Mm. Wait, this is a movie? <laughs> yeah. Let me clue something into you guys behind the scenes real quick. There's a meta game going on behind the scenes. Ren is here for GothCon. I'm hosting GothCon. Yuha is in and out of GothCon. We're playing an assassin's game where we all have a target person who is also at GothCon, and we have a word that we're trying to get them to say. If they say that word and we hear them say it, then they're assassinated and we inherit their target and their target word and all that. Brent and I are are both in this game. Yuha is not. Um, he's he's no. just laughing at us. Yes. Uh, so we're hoping that we don't accidentally say the word that whoever is targeting us wants us to say. That's all. I have prepared different questions. Actually, this week, Yuha prepared 14 questions and I prepared one. So I prepared different question without the S. Um, and these four lovely folks in red, yellow, green, and blue have prepared answers. You find an inconspicuous chest in a dungeon. What do you do? Very classic D&D prompts. Response number one is investigation, arcana, insight. Response number one is investigation, arcana, insight. Oh, it's unlocked. Hashtag <laughs> unlocked. <laughs> Response number two, open it immediately. Nothing bad can happen. Ha hashtag nat one dex check. <laughs> Response number three, open it. It's definitely not a mimic, hashtag mimic. And response number four, wave at it. If it waves back, fireball. Whichever answer you like the best, notice that every single answer ends with a hashtag. So go ahead and just type that hashtag in the chat and you will vote for them just like that. Beautiful. Ricky, just like that, you got it. Excellent, welcome Ricky. Good, uh, you can also text in an extra vote if you so desire to 833-523. Should make a jingle. 832 <laughs> No, 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 it's 833. Okay, yeah. 833-523-2837. <laughs> am, am I allowed to ask Yuha to, to roll a performance check as his DM, even if he's co-hosting the show. <laughs> what do you mean? That, did you see his performance? Check. It was a beautiful, immaculate performance. <laughs> Clearly, he met a role to Nat 20. Investigation Arcana Insight O is unlocked. Comes to us from Brenna. Nicely done, got you six votes. Uh, Cassie, with open it immediately. Nothing bad can happen. Nat 1 dex check, got just the one vote. It's a tough start, I'm so sorry. Open it, it's definitely not a mimic. From A, Josh. <laughs> I got a six. You got a six! <laughs> okay, you can also you can also roll within the chat. You see? That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One D twenty. I just want my modifiers. Performance. I need the bonus. I got a twenty for my performance. Look at that! And Catherine, wave at it if it waves back. Fireball. Well done. Wins the round with ten votes. Nice. Fireball always wins. Yes. We're about to 
give you all an opportunity to vote directly for whoever you want to vote for for this evening. Uh, this will be the only time that you can know for certain who you are voting for. It's good. Vote for who you want so you know there's one right answer. Right, 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 right. Uh, well, <laughs> the trouble is the right answer isn't available. No one can vote for me. So I'm sorry, you have to vote for me. <laughs> I was going to vote for David. Oh, well. You had your chance last week. <laughs> David, 114.7. David, you won. Good job, brother. The shirt reveal. <laughs> he bribed the chat with a shirt reveal. That's the only reason he won. Hey, ridiculous. We were supposed to tell them why they should vote for us. That's not my fault. I could do it. A game. <laughs> Say hi to me right now, Erky. Hello to you right now. Hi, hi to me right now. I did it. Good. Did you wait? Was that the word? Was my word hi? Erky, are you targeting me? Just say hola from now on. Hola. I did start safe. speaking French right after I handed out the cards. Ah, from ours. You cannot be certain of anything. <laughs> hey, here are our teams. We've got Josh. You have six. Catherine, you have six as well. Cassie, you have three. And Brenna with eleven. The fan favorite. Well oh. done, all around. <laughs> Can you say I'm a little goblin? You had this for you. <laughs> I'm a little goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Our next prop for the evening is your party is looking down and you're the bard. You do what? Oh, your part. Oh, like looking down as in they're not looking great. Um, what do you do <laughs> to inspire them? Possums, possums, possums. Possums is a great answer. Thank you for it. Lift Casper above that your head like Simba. One. Hashtag Lion King reference. We love Lion King. The only true movie besides Game of Fate. That is a movie. Response number two. <laughs> Play groovy tune on my harmonica. Hashtag let's dance. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, thank you, Puddle. <laughs> Response number three is their angler will fuel them. Time to rickroll. That's a rickroll. Wait, who's rickroll? Rickroll? Have you never been rickrolled before? Nah. Ricky and Chad, Lynn. we have a new objective. <laughs> oh no one explained gosh. it to him. Wait, what? Wait a minute. So is this like a film goal? But it's all about Rick. No one explained it to him. Goes back to his he childhood. He will find out through experience. But everyone, uh, uh, message your best Rick rolls to you. Guys, you're gonna have to Rick roll him quickly because he might try to Google this and get Rick rolled. Well, no, I'm not trying to Google it. I'm gonna figure it out by context. I'm now right. picturing a guy in a jar Good going luck. down a hill. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're, you're, keep going down yeah, that path. Keep, keep on exploring. Yeah, keep You'll going. You're on the right sure. track. I want to hear where this goes. <laughs> well, it goes right, to the hospital yeah. at this rate. You pretty much got it. <laughs> okay, well, I can only assume that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, you'll love it. You'll love it for sure. Response number four. Threaten them to success because intimidation. <laughs> I say intimidation. If there's one thing that's intimidating, it's a bard. <laughs> Our bard is kind of a boss. Have you seen him, though? We, I don't actually know who's. It, it, uh, Josh, Josh is the bard. bard. Yes, Josh is the bard. Add me who is Rickroll. Was... <laughs> Should have been. But yeah, I, that's a valid question. It is a valid question. I, I think that we're all laughing because you don't know. And a Rickroll is a type of a trick you can play on somebody, so we can't tell you what the trick is. Like an Ollie? No, that's a skateboard trick. No, yeah, no, very mind. different kind of yes, trick. Yes, very different. <laughs> Quite. All right. Casper, <laughs> put your head like Simba comes to us from Brenna, and nicely done. Got you six votes. Play a groovy tune on my harmonica. Let's dance. Comes to us from Cassie and got two votes. Their anger will fuel them. Time to rick roll. Peter, from no. Josh is <laughs> well done, Josh. That's hard to beat. Eleven votes wins the round and threaten them to success because intimidation from Catherine got you four votes. All right, our next prompt. If P Tony was an NPC, he would likely be. It's a dangerous prompt. The Hi everyone, this is your video editor. Just popping in real quick. A um, little backstory, I've been working on this edit for, I feel like literally half a year. <laughs> and I've only gotten to this point. Um, so I am really just need to revert back to classic golf. Okay, yeah, so my mic just fell and dropped. But anyway, <laughs> should I keep this in? Um, I'll keep it in, but you guys got to promise me you'll make it to the end of this video, okay? Please. Please. <laughs> okay, it's going on too long. Anyway, I got to revert, um, 
this format back to original game of favorites because it's just a lot less editing i'm manually clipping out all the prompts and stuff and placing them and like timing them come on and it just it, it looks way too busy anyway so i'm gonna revert it back to the original goth um and try to get this edit done pretty fast uh today it is december 29th um so it should be fun to see when this actually gets finished okay now we're gonna do a makeover scene BBEG, hashtag BBEG. If you're new to uh, D and D, <laughs> that stands for the Big Bad Evil Guy. So there you go. Thanks, whoever wrote that. Response number two: a traveling troubadour with a kazoo telling tales. Hashtag tales. Response number three: the tavern quest giver. Hashtag tavern of favorites. Ooh, it's that's actually a good name for a tavern. I would go there. And I don't even go to taverns. We should we make should. it happen. Write it down, friend. Just balloons yeah. everywhere. <laughs> a response number four, the spooky traveler telling ghost stories. Hashtag spooks. Okay, besides the first one, these are, <laughs> these are not that bad. I don't know. I feel like I could pitch you the most with the second and the third. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can't picture me telling ghost stories? I can picture you telling ghost stories, but it'd be like the kind of ghost stories where nobody actually finds them frightening. <laughs> and as the big bad evil guy, I feel like you would have you would have a monologue for sure, but it would be at the end of the day like someone like deleted your code or something like that. There, and you would was, lose all sympathy. <laughs> there was one time we were working on a I was in a play. Um, every year we did a play back in like high school. Um, and one year we were doing A Man for All Seasons, um, and I was supposed to be Thomas More, a hero. Um, my friend was supposed to be Cromwell, who was a villain, but he was tired of being cast as a villain, and I was tired of being cast as the hero, so we asked our director if we could switch, and our director said yes. And for every practice from then until performance, our director would take us aside after every rehearsal and say, Peter, you're evil. Josh, you're good. Get it through your heads. <laughs> I've never been in a play, but I imagine <laughs> if I were in a play. Anyway, he got what was coming to him, which was gold dust in the eyes. Gold dust? Well, he punched me. <laughs> you could be a That's great one villain. Way to go I about feel like it. you would be a natural villain. <laughs> I would do you now. <laughs> uh, that's called typecasting, and we try to avoid it. Except what? it works. <laughs> The BBEG from Josh got two votes. A traveling troubadour with a kazoo telling tales from Catherine got five votes. The tavern quest giver, tavern of favorites, get, comes to us from Brenna and wins the round with 12. And Cassie with the spooky traveler telling ghost stories got you two as well. I think Cassie's gonna come in like a Rick Cruel. Am I using it right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm using it right well, now. Well, how did you know? That was amazing. <laughs> I came in like a Rick Roll. Oh, <laughs> All right, what happens when you get a nat one trying to persuade the king? Response number one, it's exactly what I hoped. A PC's trash roll is a DM's treasure. Hashtag DM's treasure. Ooh. Who could that be? Ooh. I'm not the only DM on here if you're looking at me, sir. Other DM. Oh yeah, I forgot it. that was me. <laughs> Response cover, number though. two, head on a spike. Hashtag Ned Stark. Hashtag spoilers. Who's Ned Stark? It's from Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, it's first season. If they don't know it by now. <laughs> My mom, back in the early seasons of Game of Favorites, she would ask how things were going. She's like, oh, how's that Game of Thrones thing that you do? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't do Game of Thrones. <laughs> no, no, you should have just owned it. Be like, oh, it's multi-millions. Yeah, right yeah <laughs> Game of Thrones is going great. Thanks for asking. There's about to be three. Hope you like Rotten Tomatoes, hashtag tomatoes, and response number four. You, you get ricked, ricked rolled, hashtag ricking roll. Ricked, ricked, you are ricked, rick rolled, hashtag. It was ricking roll. <laughs> That's what it should be. Oh, we lost someone. Wait, what happened? Joshua! Oh, no. Joshua! He got ricked rolled.
I'll just be both of us for now. <laughs> I'll just be- You're doing a great job. Perfect. Perfect. Yay! Yay! Just in time for results. We've got exactly what I hoped. Uh, a, a PC stress roll is a DM stretcher did come to us from Brenna, in fact. It was. <laughs> 12 <laughs> votes. Well done. Head on a spike from Cassie. Got you just the one vote. So, so you're having a rough game. I'm so sorry. I'm not surprised. This is the kind of game that I no. usually have. I did a D20 in the thing before we started to play <laughs> Game of Favorites, and I rolled a four. So oh, ah, the you dice rolled never worse. Lies. We have hope you like Rotten Tomatoes from AJS. Got you three votes, and Catherine with you get Rick rolled. Well done. Got you six. Nicely done all around. Um, Feeble is trying to give Cassie inspiration and got a ten. That's, I'm, I, I don't know what that means. So that means she has 11. You add it to your score. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how that works? I mean, technically, yes. with Bardic Inspiration, you would add it to the roll. <laughs> I'm going to rule of cool this one. I'm not going to change my place, so. A D20 Inspiration is a very powerful inspiration <laughs> they're, they're, they're at level That's 20 like a bard. Wish <laughs> but look, Game of Favorites is a very powerful show. That's right. Money is a bit tight and you need cash fast. Your course of action is, uh, Josh is going to fetch money right now. I thought about um, <laughs> JG Wentworth when I was doing this. And you need cash now, <laughs> call JG Wentworth. 877 cash, seven cash now. <laughs> I didn't think anyone would run. If you see it, it's not mine. I'll just tell you that. I didn't think anyone was going to do it. But I 100% thought of that first. If your like, money is a bit tight and right? you need cash now. In response number one. It, wait, oh, did somebody not get... Hold on. We're, we're real casual today. We can make sure that everyone... Is somebody struggling to get their answers in? It might be in? Josh. Oh, it might be Josh. Yeah, he got disconnected. We'll stall Yay. for Josh. We'll, we'll move back here where there's no timer. Josh! Yeah. Josh, here, Josh everything, is for you. everything is safe He's here. He's done so much for our game that I want us to do this for him too. <gasps> oh, Josh is on a new device. Hey. It's called a cellular device. It's Josh, but vertical. You got taller. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad you noticed. <laughs> yeah. How do you do that? Um, we're stalling a little bit so you can get your answer in. Are you ready to get your answer in? Oh, yeah. Let me just get that real quick. All right. Well, while we're stalling, Peter, you charmed a goblin. What are you asking it to do? Uh, go fight the big bad evil guy for me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you coward! <laughs> Listen, he, go, he goes in, and I find out what happens to him. And then you get a goblin kebab in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, I don't think he'll... Listen, if he wins, then clearly the DM did not give me a very strong big bad evil bad. Even or though. you just very much underestimated this goblin. <laughs> <laughs> this goblin was really that of a god. It's efficient. <laughs> Somehow it failed its <laughs> ability to not be charmed by you. <laughs> oh, Overflowing amazing. charisma. All right, Josh, how you doing? You about ready? Almost. Oh, yeah, what was that it. noise? I think that was a dog. I think it might oh. have been puppies. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but my first thought went to a wraith. But that couldn't have been. <laughs> there are some sounds I would like to record in order to play during our game just to really spook you guys. That that could be a cool one. We're going with Foley art here. All right. Hey, we, we have some back. responses. We have sell the pricey new dice you just bought. Ha! 
Hashtag, yeah, right. We would never, never no. sell your dice. The, listen, sell your house first. Response number two, the simple answer is the best. Hashtag theft. You know, do you agree? Oh, yes. <laughs> Response number three, find some full pockets. Hashtag stealth check. Again, you know, do you agree? Always. Response number four, roll for sleight of hand for some pickpocketing. Hashtag pickpocketing. Hold on a second. No, that, was, that on. one's just shady. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. This is where you draw the limit? And yes. yes. When you, well, the other ones, it's just like assumption. Now you know they're going for the pocket, and it's just, you know, it's too out there. It's too out. Uh, <laughs> all right. I, um, yep, sure. Whatever you say, Buzz. I just want to point out that we were giving Yuha a, a, ba- a hard time for being the villain of Tales from the Catacombs. But clearly, he's in similar company. Look at these answers. Everyone is on the same page. <laughs> we learned from the best. <laughs> hey, you never know how quickly you can make some cash. The last time I pickpocketed, I apparently made about... Oh, how know, much? I made 10 how days much? worth of money. 10 whole days of working made in one minute. <laughs> Josh was just like, I have to calculate that in a second. Oh no, he's right. <laughs> well, I mean, according to the guidebook. According to the guidebook, yes. <laughs> oh, I stole it from somebody that was grieving the loss of their best friend or something, but I didn't know it at the time. I just saw it distracted. The best friend person. who was coming to replace us on a mission that people think we screwed up on. <laughs> hmm. Also known as not my guy's fault. We have results. I'm out of my depth here. Results are <laughs> sell the price of new dice you just bought from Brenna. Uh, just, yeah, right. Haha, ha, yeah, right. Comes with. Uh, uh, I'm stumbling. Wow. Uh, five <laughs> votes, though, for Brenna. The simple answer is the best. Hashtag theft. Well done, Josh. Wins the round with nine votes. Very nicely done. Better late than never. Find some po- full pockets. Yeah, hashtag stealth check from Cassie. Well done, got you four votes. And Catherine, roll for sleight of hand for some pickpocketing. Told you One with two votes. If it uh, wasn't so shady, would have had more votes. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Catherine. You ha is with you. It sounds like a personal feud. Um, you can work it out in the campaign. It'll be fine. He's not. She's not the only one that has a personal feud against this guy. <laughs> It's gorgeous. Do you want a personal feud with, with, with Catherine? Personal feud with Catherine specifically? Yeah. Well, no, but I have no reason to. Her character, though, it's very much Her character, makes though. sense. A distraction We're is needed on some guards. This is your perfect plan. <laughs> <laughs> First you go and French. the guards are French. Yeah, I went through about three hours there. <laughs> For some reason. Yes, yeah. Well, Sing a song not? about cheeseburgers. I feel the power. <laughs> He's committed to the character, and I appreciate it. How certain are you in that accent? Not at all. <laughs> no, I, we. I, I, what you, which accent are you talking about? There were three in there. How certain are you in that in that French, that beautiful French, well, French Canadian, was it? Hold on. <laughs> Be sure. I need I need someone to coach me through this because I've got like fifteen dialects. I yeah, I'm not very sure here. of my accent. And whose fault is that? No, you're average. That's pretty good. We right. discovered that ten is average. Yeah. You have an average French accent. Yeah, I have an average. Which is to say, you have none. <laughs> yeah, I think um, the average person does not have a French accent. Um, all right, instruction is needed. What do you do? Respect the wood. I throw pocket sand. Hashtag pocket sand. Did you write that one, you huh? No, but I agree with it. <laughs> Response number two. Get them tipsy. Everyone likes mimosas. I want a mimosa now. Response number three. No plan. Just sneak attack damage and theft. Hashtag every rogue plan. <laughs> Response number four. Ask them about their childhood. It's therapy time. Before the show began, uh, th- these lovely contestants wanted to ask me about my childhood. So, uh, can you guys cover your ears for a second, if you would be so kind? Yes, thank you. The, the headphones are all my ears. Uh, hold on, I'm doing a bit. <laughs> and I unplug my headphones. I lied to them. Everything I said was a total lie. So, uh, I lost my headphones. But they're in your hands. I, I lost the connection. <laughs> Yanza, yeah, so am I allowed to move your camera? <laughs> Do I have your permission? I just want to make sure you could see, but I, I must have just been seeing things, Yenza. You want to flip over on them? You're more than welcome to, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Do what you need to. Okay, you. thanks, Yenza, bye. Thanks, <laughs> appreciate it. Is this how you felt last year during Gotham, Peter? Uh, maybe, I don't know, how do you feel? 
Look at therapy this. time. I feel like there's a. I feel like there's an audience or something. Oh, is this supposed yes. to feel this way? Yeah, it feels a bit different. It feels a bit different. Um, you're that's why I barricaded. I feel like there's an audience during Game of Favorites. So you're <laughs> no? supposed to feel like you're completely alone and just by yourself. That's how you know it's Game a successful Favorites. show. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a ghost town, it's the right town. Oh. <laughs> hey, we have results. Uh, I throw pockets in. Cassie, well done. Got you five votes. I get them tipsy. Everyone likes mimosas from Josh. Got two. Well People done. People apparently don't like mimosas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with mimosas? It's because Peter said that he does, and whatever oh. Peter likes, the chat does not go with. I'm sorry, Fair. Josh. This, I heard you. this has been proven this is science. time and time again. Fair. <laughs> Every rogue plan, no plan to sneak attack damage from it. Brenna got you two votes as well. And ask them about their childhoods. It's therapy time from Catherine wins the round with seven votes. Yes. Well done. It's always therapy time. But you need a distraction. Can we talk around. about something? <laughs> the party wizard burned you again with fireball. You dot dot dot. It's a little role playing, which is something that you do sometimes in things like D&D. &D. Uh, my, my understanding is sometimes you role play in D&D. &D. Is this correct? Yes, and in this case, what? you turn the other cheeks so that way you can have an even That's burn. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We roll intelligence and see what it actually means to play D and D. All right, the party was to you again with fireball. You give him the pink slip. Hashtag fired. Response number two: just saved a spell slot. Hashtag cleric heals. What? Response number three: I, I don't. This is the nerdy reference that's deeper into D and D, &D that I understand. But but you. You, dear viewer, might know more. Response number three, always fireball. I think they're gonna cast it back, fire with fire. Yeah, That's absolutely. the best way to combat something. You fight fire with fire. That's what they always say. It creates it. inferno. <laughs> Response number four, next time you want to roast me, use your words, hashtag words. Vicious mockery. <laughs> Bard strikes Bard again. Approved. Bard strikes again. <laughs> All right, dig it, Josh. Give him the big slip. <laughs> Fire got you four votes. Well done. Just saved a spell slot from Brenna. Got you three votes. Well done. Cassie, fireball. I, I'm i sorry. One vote. I, I'm surprised. I really thought the fireball meta is failing. Yeah. <laughs> I thought fireball was always the answer. Chat, you must not play wizards very well. It's going to be the answer for Cassie's vengeance. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone gets Cassie's the fireball in the mail. <laughs> And gather the next time you want to roast me, use your words. For, uh, for, uh, got you 13 votes. Well done. Way to go, bards. We're at round seven, which is about halfway through the show, which is an excellent time uh, for a word from our sponsors. Yes. <laughs> you ready, you huh? Yeah, so we're at the we top of the document. Yes, we're right here. All right. Um, all right. So when should we start it? Oh, you, you start? Well, no, I get it. But like, is there a countdown? No. Alright. Are you tired of those boring run-of-the-mill car car warranty ads? Well buckle up and get ready for the ride of your life with our hilarious parody ad for Cars Limited Warranty. <laughs> Introducing Cars Limited Warranty, the warranty that's so good, it'll make you do a double take. Ha <laughs> ha! Picture this! You're driving down the road, wind in your hair, when suddenly a clunk! Your car makes strange noises, and you're thinking, oh no, not again! But fear not, my friend, Cars Limited Warranty has got your back! Hooray! <laughs> With Cars Limited Warranty, you'll never have to worry about unexpected repairs! We cover everything, from faulty fenders to wayward wipers, from suspicious spark plugs to enigmatic engine troubles! <laughs> <laughs> Here's the best part! Our warranty covers you no matter what kind of driver you are. We don't discriminate between lead-footed racers or cautious Sunday drivers. Anyways, back to the show. Uh, <clears throat> I, kind of hard to come down from that, but you have the skill. We will try. <laughs> Let's create a social spell. <laughs> what does it do? <laughs> now that's what I call sponsors. It gets you sponsors? <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> it's a type of charm. <laughs> I cast sponsor me at ninth level. <laughs> I cast hashtag sponsor. That's a heavy one. <laughs> power word sponsor. Power, power, yeah. power word sponsor. <laughs> or power word GoFundMe. 
<laughs> Plus one is always win game shows. Hashtag golf. We would love it. Response for two is explains my Myers Briggs results. Hashtag charm to friendship. Response for three. That's a good one. Can the Nani command be? That's response number three. Response number four is makes game of favorites a dating show. Rude, vetoed. Do not vote for a dating show. Thank you. And response number five. Now someone instantly becomes a grandma magnet. Hashtag oh my gosh. magnetic. Oh. Do you get to know how to like crochet? Oh. That, that could be a thing, and they could start their own shop. It's like a pyramid scheme. For, for the one Peter doesn't like, AJ, would you, would you? Oh, oh, I. <laughs> That's if, why the mimosas got tanked. What if Peter likes all of them? I <clears throat> totally Peter like doesn't like all, all of, them. of them. Sure. <laughs> well, I he already said don't vote for number three. Response uh, I three love is a very funny joke. All I do is watch <laughs> dating shows in my pastime. <laughs> That's what happened. That's what happened. Listen, if Game of Favorites is a dating show, where's your plus one? Chat, where's your plus one? All right, hey Josh, with a Always Win Game Shows, uh, got you three <laughs> votes. Well done. Explain to my Bre Myers Briggs results from Brenna, got you three votes as well. Catherine, with Make Game of Favorites a dating show, well done. Wins the round. I'm angry at you, but you got 13 votes. <laughs> Good job, chat. Yay, job. they figured Thank it you, out. Chat. <laughs> Chad, that's the only time that's gonna work. Oh yeah, <laughs> you gotta make good use of it. I mean, I'm gonna go change an answer. Cassie's <laughs> rising. <laughs> the rise of the Cassie. Uh, do you want to read off this prompt? This is just like a very you prompt. All right. So you wanna be your own special paladin, eh? You make an oath of what? <laughs> that is how I typed it in my head. Sounds <laughs> <I'm> accurate. <laughs> Response number one is an oath of puns. Hashtag puns. Response number two is an oath to the bit. Hashtag game of favorites paladin. We love it. Response number three, go oath of dating. Hashtag matchmaker sponsored by Catholic Match. And response number four is a youth group leader. Hashtag dodgeball. Beautiful. The golf paladin made me think of a golf paladin and they just ruled the golf court. <laughs> No, that was earlier today. <laughs> oh, yeah, we played disc golf earlier really today. That was a what fun is time. Disc golf. It's is like, that it's like golf hockey? with frisbees. Oh, that. I was thinking like a puck. <laughs> hockey you golf. Throw that means you I'm not good. Like I'm, not good. Yeah. I'm not good with frisbees. <laughs> oh, a lot of us weren't. It's totally okay. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> All right, we've got some results. We've got Catherine with Oath of Puns. Well done. Got you 12 votes. Nice, nice. There's no pun in there, though. I w I miffed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, response number two. Failed. An oath to the bit uh, from Brenna. Well done, get you four votes. Oath to dating. Hey, Josh, aren't you, aren't you pursuing celibacy? Wait a minute. I suppose matchmaker. You can be a matchmaker. Uh, got you six votes. And Cassie with the youth group leader, Dodgeball, got you two votes. Well done. I'm trying right. to think of how you can make that a pun, and the only thing that came to mind was oats of uh, puns. You know, I <laughs> I don't have an oath to make puns. So, uh, but but that don't let me get in the way of the expertise of Catherine is what I'm trying to say. The BBEG was really intimidating until I noticed this. This is the one prompt that I wrote. As I'd say, that's that's what you notice. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the prompt Peter. It's not a U-Haw prompt. <laughs> what is this nonsense? But you see, his prompt is about evil. All of mine was ambiguous. So, hey, what do you think I about say that? that? He was the BBEG earlier. Yes, that was my that was my thing. So. I'm just looking for Back. ways that make would make me less intimidating, and I'm hoping this market research. You know, I want to avoid doing what these next four answers say. That's the plan. What if it's good methods for getting sponsors? Oh, uh, well, I don't do that. That's for sure. It's really intimidating <laughs> until I. It was actually just three Peters in a trench coat. Hashtag boiled again. Can you imagine the tallest? <laughs> yeah, I see. I don't think I have BBEG energy. Uh, all right, great. Response number two is he's actually three foot tall. Hashtag short king. Response number three is he doesn't take his coffee black. Hashtag bid bag. Big bag evil was BBEW. -E -B -B -E <laughs> oh, response number four. 
It was watching Game of Favorites. See that, chat? None of you are the big bad evil guy. So here's the thing about response number one. I am now pitching Slender Man. <laughs> but at the end of the game, instead of the bad, the sad ending that you get, he just opens up his suit. <laughs> Three people stacked on top of each other <laughs> with uh, like pool noodles because of his wheeled arm thing. <laughs> Incredible. All right. All right. Uh, I also want to point out, let me scroll up a little bit. Jenny um, has validated me. She says, I am very intimidating. Thank you, Jenny, for recognizing truth. We do love the truth here. But what if she's It can be intimidating intimidated? when the code messes up. What? I trust Jenny. <laughs> Jenny has great opinions. I'm very intimidating. Chat, listen, listen. I'm intimidating as my voice cracks. Uh, <laughs> I'm intimidating, guys. <laughs> <laughs> she's very trustworthy, Whatever. exactly. <laughs> she might be trustworthy, Whatever but that Jenny doesn't mean she's <laughs> not easily intimidated. <laughs> Hey, Josh, it was actually just three Peters in a trench coat. Josh, see, you knew. Well done. Wins the round with 15 so votes. <laughs> we have, he's actually three foot tall from Cassie. Well done, got you six votes. Uh, he doesn't take his coffee black from Brandon, got you three votes. And Catherine, with he was watching Game of Favorites, got you just the one vote. Chat wants to be the big bad evil guy. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> Shock, surprise, there are dragons coming. You do what? Le shock. Le shock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shock surprise, there are dragons coming. You do what? Response one is address the gold horde as a drama response. Hashtag dungeons and DSM5. What? <laughs> response. What is this? The DSM5 is like the manual of what, what counts as a mental <sighs> illness and all that. Oh, yeah. This is getting to be a deep show. This is we're, we're just doubling down on therapy. I think the dragon would just eat them. <laughs> yeah, um, your therapy treatment is death. Response number two: kill him and start dragging his corpse to the king. Hashtag pun. Is it Catherine? And that's when you fail your dragon. charisma check with the king and you get your head on a spike. <laughs> Response number three, roll charisma to make a friend. Hashtag friend. You can have a dragon friend. And response number four, call on the powerful arch druid. Arch druid? Arch druid? Wait, how do you say this? Hashtag patches. Arch druid. Arch druid? Arch druid? Arch, it's an archbishop. It's probably arch druid. Yeah, probably. I would say it's arch druid. <laughs> it's, it's the druid arch, of all the arches. Arch druid, arch lit. <laughs> the whole arch evergreen <laughs> arches. They're all the same. <laughs> Let's see what our results are. We have uh, addressed the gold horde as a trauma response from Brenna. Nice and I got you seven votes. Cassie wins the round. Ten votes for kill him and start dragging his corpse to the king. Nicely done. Roll Christmas yeah, to make a friend please. from Catherine. Got you just the three votes. And uh, call on the p powerful arch druid from um, Josh. Got you six votes. Uh, as, as our oath of punnery, do you approve of this pun? Miss Catherine? Absolutely. Good. It is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, Cassie has learned the meta of win them over with violence. I was going to say, I've unlocked it. <laughs> <laughs> the more inhumane, the better. It's a little bit too late. <laughs> <laughs> Just go over the bloodthirst in chat. Use your evil voice. My evil voice. <laughs> Time uh, to I use your leaving. necromancy powers to question a corpse. You want to know? <laughs> He's using the evil voice. <laughs> yes. This is what Oliver Cromwell sounded like back in the time of Thomas More. <laughs> All right. Time to use your necromancy powers to question. Of course, response number one is if they have a bone to pick with anyone. That's a pun. Hashtag deadly serious. That's another pun. Because corpses are known for being serious. Response number two. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Are you a saint or did you not make it? Hashtag TMI. Oh, wow. Brutal. It sounds like a song lyric. <laughs> Are you a saint or did you not make it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dang. Back in the ground, you what go. Yeah, you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nighty night. Response number three. Who throws the best pool parties in heaven? Hashtag St. Philip Neary. And response number four. How many questions can I ask? Hashtag oops. 
I think the magic number is three. <laughs> you know, <laughs> every once in a while there's a hashtag that shows up, which feels like I'm being called out for something. Seen everybody type, or seen a lot of people type hashtag TMI. I'm like, wait, what did I say? What did I? I'm sorry, <laughs> chat. What did I do? I didn't do what I promised. <laughs> We have results. We have Catherine with if they have a, a bone to pick with anyone, deadly serious. Catherine the puns, 12 votes. Very well done. However, it could not beat TMI from Brenna. 14 oh, votes. <laughs> I think they, for that. I think the jingle. You helped. wrote it. What do you mean? I know. I was Don't write it unless you're ready for them to vote for it. You not only wrote it, but you put it on the internet. It's true. It's true. All of this is on the internet. Immortalized. You're welcome. Now. Who throws the best pool parties in heaven? St. Philip Neary from Cassie. Well done. Got you two votes. And how many questions can I ask? Oops. From Josh. Got two votes as well. Three rounds to go. Did you ever hear the old, back in the days when YouTube first erupted, Chocolate Rain, the song? Because <laughs> that's what I'm thinking of looking at Chocolate Wine. Chocolate yeah. Wine. I, mean, I keep seeing people type <laughs> Chocolate Rain in the chat. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Chocolate wine! Chocolate trauma. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> if you're gonna have trauma, I might as well make it go down with a bit of one. That would be a good question. What is your trauma taste like? A spoonful of chocolate makes the trauma what does go down. Trauma taste <laughs> what does like? your trauma taste like? <laughs> it tastes like chocolate. What's in your trauma? What's, yes! <laughs> what's in- <laughs> Ooh, that's our next sponsor. <laughs> trauma? No, what's in, what's in your trauma? <laughs> It's an off shot of what's in your wallet. It's for a psychologist. Oh my goodness. <laughs> a therapist <laughs> line. What's in your trauma? <laughs> Better, Better help. help. <laughs> what's in your trauma? <laughs> All right, we have another prompt. Uh, someone is under your charm, making this the perfect time to do what? Sponsor number one is wallet, please. Hashtag thank you. Very nice. Classic. Response number two is slide over your punny game of favorites answers. Hashtag it'll be a pun time. Response number three, make someone like you. Hashtag charmed. And response number four is ask them about the trauma. Oh, trauma is a reoccurring theme in this. Yeah. Uh, do you guys need therapy? Game of favorites. <laughs> I've I been mean, asked multiple times if by my characters if there is a like mental health professional in this place they're in. <laughs> well, I mean, I feel like some people view Dungeons and Dragons as a way of their therapy, and it's less expensive. It's too. way cheaper. Yeah, it's way cheaper. And you get to that. fight oh, dragons. On how much you, you dice. spend on dice? <laughs> well, you also get to fight dragons, so that's already going to be cooler than better help. <laughs> no offense, better help. <laughs> we have some results. I don't know. We've got, we've got Wallet Please from Cassie. Nicely done. Got you the two votes. Slide over your punny game of favorites answers from Brenna. Got you four votes. Make someone like you. Hashtag charm from Josh. Got you three votes. And the winner of the round with over half the votes. Ask them about their trauma. Chat loves trauma. Well done, Catherine. <laughs> 13 votes. Trauma. Chat, do you actually need it. help? When I'm out here, Anybody needs I'm to okay. talk, we can help connect you with with a proper mental health professionals. As soon as one sponsors us, that's right. <laughs> yeah, until one sponsors us, you are re- wallowing your trauma. <laughs> or you guys have already come in here and interrupted me. You can just come in here right now and I will give you a hug. You <laughs> Round 14. My character's low charisma is showcased by this flaw. <laughs> If you want to spot for people who talk about necromancy and chocolate rain, consider Game of Favorites. Thank yes. you, Matt Pack. for bringing endorsements. I'm just saying, like, I mean, it works. We cover all bases. Oh, I, I forgot you... to mention. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Uh, just spinning back to a previous bit, uh, I forgot to mention that when the peanut gallery came in here, if you believe me, you saw they were in here. Mm-hmm. The last one they came in and they rickrolled me. I'm not going to tell you how what that means, but they rickrolled me. <laughs> how dare they? How yeah. dare they? Wait, should should you should I'm you assuming I should be insulted. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He'll figure it out. I don't know what that is, but it sounds illegal. <laughs> <laughs> and he cares zero. <laughs> All right, my character's low charisma is showcased by this flaw. Response number one is, you're annoyed by what I'm doing? Hashtag clueless. 
I love being clueless, though. It's kind of fun. Response number two is, I think Game of Favorites is actually a dating show. Hashtag no plus one. Thank you for, for half of that. The hashtag, no, please do bring your plus ones, but don't they call They couldn't it get one show. low charisma. They just couldn't find no. a way. <laughs> it doesn't have to be like a dating plus one. It can just be your plus one friend. Yeah, you, you could know? bring your mouse because all you can get are animals to well, like it's, it's, it's someone that counts as <laughs> people. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> They're going Cinderella. Number <laughs> number three is the resistance to therapy. Hashtag therapy. <laughs> and response number four is convinced they could actually win this show. Hashtag <laughs> silly goose. Oh no. Oh, it's painful. <laughs> That's why I've played this game a few times. Um, I've gotten fourth, fourth, and third. The time that I got third, there were three players. It's a tough game. <laughs> And he calls people to do this every <laughs> single week. I do. And people choose to come back. I know, well, right? people even chose to go into yeah. a tournament. <laughs> I know. A tournament! <laughs> Response number one comes to us from Cassie. You're annoyed by what I'm doing? Clueless got you two votes. My apologies. Thinking Game of Favorites is actually a dating show from Brett. I got you five votes. Catherine with the resistance therapy with the seven votes and convinced they could actually win this show wins the round. Well done, Josh. You yes, silly, silly goose. goose. <laughs> <laughs> we are about to go to our final round. That's right. Wow. We're kind of ahead of schedule, I yeah. think. We even had that long ad. We are an efficient group. Oh, yeah, we are an efficient party. Through. That's why we rock at d, &D. Okay, well, I mean... Efficiency. You, well, You're I don't not know playing. about that. <laughs> All right. If David was an NPC, he would likely be. This is our final round, ladies and gentlemen. This is for all of the marbles. <laughs> Whoever gets the most points this round wins the entire game. Well, the you can debate. you can buy points. All or nothing. I will I will put this out there to you, audience. You can use your hard earned cash to buy points. True. This uh, is true. One hundred one hundred bits never, guys. equals one vote, if I recall correctly. You do recall correctly. Exactly, I am correct. So just think about what you could do with a thousand bits. Ooh, ooh, I mean, also, I love this idea. Channel points. Math. Channel points is in there. So here you go, guys. This is this is the time. Dump those channel points in. Dump those bits in. We want all the votes. Don't forget to text in. Go buy another cell phone. Text in an extra phone. <laughs> yes, go buy a second phone, second line, use that phone, text it in, buy some more bits <laughs> on your credit card. <laughs> All right, we've got, if, Pete, if David was an NPC, he would likely be the party's adopted goblin. Hashtag, I'm a little goblin. <laughs> I kind of do want to play a D&D &D goblin just to do that voice throughout the campaign. <laughs> Response number two. You really gives should. a guest well, gives a guest quest that gets you killed and him rich. Hashtag <laughs> last quest. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag pyramid scheme. <laughs> Response number three. Not the therapist. Hashtag no way. Now I've been told by a friend that apparently if you're in the midst of a pregnancy scare, I'm a good person to call. Because oh. she pranked phone called me That's with that, so and I handled it very well. <laughs> oh, amazing. I could be a goblin therapist. Dragons have the dragon type. They are, they they are, are. not monstrosities <laughs> or beasts. Well, they're that's, their own they thing. just don't want to have fun. Why? Do, how dare you try and to put dragon into a just box? Just want to have fun. Uh, <laughs> oh, dragons <laughs> just want to have fun. <laughs> It all makes sense. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh wow! Alright, the party's adopted goblin from Brenna. Well done, got you 22 votes. That's well, that's almost... because somebody used the channel points over there. Somebody understood the market. Somebody scheme. understood. <laughs> 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 Two thousand. <laughs> yeah. Self game. That silly goose is plus one. That's beautiful. Uh, beautiful. All right. The Bart's adopted goblin wins the round. Well done, Brenna. Twenty-two votes. Gives a quest that gets you killed and him rich. Last quest, Cassie. Well done. Got you four votes. Not the therapist from Josh. Got you the one vote. And Catherine, the therapist, gave you four votes. So I guess that makes you the therapist. Ha -ha. Yes. All right. 100% yes. I go to I, Catherine with all my bras. I'm a goblin therapist. <laughs> I, I'm terrified. Yeah, so... I pay, first, her, first... I pay her in lore from our game. <laughs> lore? 
She likes to know like all these things I haven't told the party yet, and I pay her with that to be my therapist. Right, <laughs> knowledge right, is right. a source of currency. It's true. It's true. Spoken like a great therapist. <laughs> That would be five hundred dollars, please. <laughs> <laughs> I have a car, car work that I need to pay. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a big moment. So let's build some hype here. Here, I'll do. This hurts my fingers, actually. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, well done. We have, oh, we have more hype. We've got Cassie's at 55.1, Josh's at 92, even Catherine, 119.2. And at the last minute, Bretta takes the lead with 121.2. Bretta, you won. Good job, brother. No, I didn't vote for myself. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Brad is one team. It's Faith, EVK, Majora, Feature, and Team Team, Dan Martin, all right with that good feature. Ricky, Erky, Backpack, I Faith, I think I'm back again. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, Thank you. Happy oh, DM, happy party. This was good for you. I should That's lock the, the door. One. <laughs> Locks. Thank goodness for locks. <laughs><laughs> they are gone now. Cell phones up. Never returning. <laughs> this is what happens on golf. I don't know how else it goes. <laughs> I'm intimidating, guys.